We're at AUSA 2018 and I'm speaking with Bill Ross, Senior Mobility Engineer, Nevada Automotive Test Centre. Uh, Bill, Nevada Automotive Test Centre, not the first organisation that people might expect to see somewhere like AUSA. Um, why are you here? What do you do? We are a privately owned independent test and engineering facility, have been in business since 1957. Uh, we do a full spectrum of test activities, automotive performance, durability, environmental testing, weapons evaluation, and blast testing. In addition, we are a full service engineering facility, so we do the um, modeling and simulation, CAD um, design, um, test data reduction, uh, just everything that you would think of when it comes to testing. We also have on-site the capability to do prototype build, so we have a, a long legacy of doing the upfront uh, prototype build and, and evaluation that have transitioned into programs of record for both the Army and the Marine Corps. In terms of size, what sort of size area does the, the Nevada Automotive Test Centre occupy? And, w and when I say size of area, perhaps I should, should phrase that as, uh, you know, as in land yes. and, and perhaps facilities. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the real estate that, that we have available to us, um, my boss, Henry Hodges, owns 6,200 acres, but we have he has uh, a 99-year lease on adjacent Bureau of Land Management land that gives us access to a total of a million acres. So our playground is about 30 miles wide by 40 miles long. A lot of, a lot of area that we can do full system evaluation. And in terms of covered facility, what sort of size area is that? We have uh, a number of environmental chambers and um, fabrication maintenance shops. Um, I don't recall off the top of my head the total square footage, but we can fit in our environmental chamber, we can fit, for example, a full tractor trailer combination or an M1 tank. Uh, and presumably, um you, you do defense and commercial, and, 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 what, and what sort of split between defense and commercial do you currently have? Our business base is about 60% defense related and about 40% commercial. On the commercial side, it's mostly vocational equipment like um, dump trucks, cement mixers, road graders, but we also do a lot of work on with agricultural equipment. So we, we have actually tested everything from motorcycles to 300 ton earth movers. Uh, and in terms of defense equipment, um, I'm sure there will be will be some caveats, security caveats, you know, uh, company confidential, but, but what sort of current projects or recent projects have you undertaken that you can discuss? One of the most recent ones that we can discuss is, as I indicated earlier, one of the things that we have done on a regular basis for both the Army and the Marine Corps is take an initial set of government requirements, build a prototype vehicle or two against those requirements, test the, the, the prototype systems, and then in, use that test data to further inform that initial set of requirements. So then we turn it back to the government in the form of a, an updated performance spec that they can then go out to broad base industry and compete. Most recently we did that for the Army's FMTV truck, uh, medium, family of medium tactical vehicles. We built a couple of technology demonstrators that showed the government what was in the realm of the possible for upgrades on that and it w resulted in what is now the, the formal FMTV A2 upgrade program that Oshkosh recently won. Uh, and if we go perhaps a little bit further back in time, yeah. if, if memory serves me correctly, d did you develop and test Lockheed Martin's twister? We, most of it was on the, the test side of the, of the twister development, but for those that, that may not be as old as some of us, the, the twister at the time was um, indicated to be one of the most mobile platforms. It was fully articulated, um, front section and rear section both had a Dodge Hemi engine in it and it had 
high wheel travel, so it was very, very mobile. We And we have one of the um, early prototype twister vehicles on site out there that my boss is, is in, the, in the slow restoration process to get it back fully functional. Excellent. Thank you very much.